So Instagram's finally doing something different to try and keep up with the times. That's my take on it. Hey you, my name is Leon. Welcome to the Weekly Wednesday Vlog. This morning I was browsing The Verge, like what I'm gonna make the vlog about. And I found a little article. It's like Instagram has introduced grid layouts for the stories. And I'm like, what? How come I didn't find out about that on my own before I read it online? But I guess it's something fresh. So I'm going to dive in. I open up my Instagram account. I'm like, I hope this is not regional or maybe beta tested on some other accounts. And lo and behold, it is right there. Don't have anything particularly intelligent to say before the video. So let's just hop in. I'm going to show you how I posted my first grid story story so you open instagram obviously you go to your story creation page and now you scroll from normal through boomerang to the layout section now here you have a four grid you have a two time horizontal grid you have a three horizontal grid then you have a double vertical grid you have a six block six pack type grid and of course this weird big one on top two on the bottom that's pretty cool i hope they're gonna add more layouts because you can do a bunch of cool things you can obviously take pictures of your boring face or crazy face but what you can also do is obviously upload pictures that you have in your feed for example this is our hike pull a little safe selfie from our hike for the first uh, big one and you position it obviously using two fingers like you would reposition any picture on a story because just using one will not do anything now for the tall one I think there was a picture of just me and my partner in crime when it comes to mountain tours position that one as well that looks decent kind of hard with all these tiny icons and you tend to click on them when you try to put two of my fat fingers on it and uh, take a selfie with my sunshine wow that's a really bright photo but anyway, once you finish positioning it, you can go into the effects tab. Now there's not much effect. The worst part for me about this is that you cannot edit the photo separately. At least I haven't found a way. You have to edit them all as a complete picture and you're good to go. Add a couple hashtags on top, whatever you do to your stories and publish your first Instagram grid story. Now there is obviously a lot of things lacking in this feature like being able to choose different kinds of frames maybe just a black frame or a white frame or with some decorations um, more types of layouts especially non-symmetrical ones because I'm I, just symmetrical layouts for me are really boring so I like you know bigger smaller just asymmetrical that being said I'm really excited for the direction that Instagram is heading in general because they're trying out new things trying to keep up with the competition because social networks like TikTok for example I know I talk about it a lot it has an amazing like a plethora of tools that you can use on your videos you film yourself on your phone and then you can edit in a, in a hundred of different ways and you don't have to have any video editing skills or knowledge or not even the software it's all built in whereas on Instagram for the time being it's more mostly like snap or take a short video put a couple stickers on it and that's it it, like the difference is monumental I still don't see myself using this feature a lot just like I don't usually take snapshots well okay that's a lie there was a period when I tried my best to make really good stories but it takes a lot of effort for not so much payback but I should be doing that more often so I don't see myself using the grid so much because a lot of pro photographers and people who are good at content creation usually use programs like Lightroom or Photoshop to lay out their stories before publishing them so you can make any type of grid under the sun with that method and that means that this method that they're using on Instagram is not very useful but then for the general public and probably for the majority of consumers of Instagram having this feature is great so Instagram go thank you guys for watching this little video I hope you liked it or learned something new like subscribe blah, 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 blah. and I'm gonna see you guys next week that was short and to the point and also my chair